Hopefully things are going well for you as for me coming straight up with a commentary video But first things first there's gonna be a loose video schedule this week, and I'm gonna say next week So yeah be ready for that and also the reason for that is because a lot of stuff has ended up happening and also there seems to be a topic that seems to be going on and on and it's dragging on so let's talk about that now Netflix has been taking a huge nasty hit they've been pretty much losing subscribers they have been pretty much losing stocks it has been trending all over the internet YouTubers are getting a hold of it your favorite content creator streamers are basically hearing of this everybody's basically hearing of this and when people do some background lookup on the situation, boy oh boy, you can see how much of a, I would say doozy, but it, it's just like an overload clusterfuck. So, Netflix, they made an oopsie, and what was that oopsie? They thought it was a good idea to release a movie called Cuties on their service. And Cuties was released in France as Mignanez, which is what you will end up finding out about this movie if you were to look this movie up on Wikipedia. Also, if you also check out the Wikipedia page, you also know that that movie won an award at the Sundance Film Festival recently. So, there is pretty much a solid reason why Netflix would go ahead and grab that movie and put it up on their service because it has something to do with Sundance winner and when it comes to Sundance winners if Netflix can have a Sundance award winner up on their service it'll basically get them ratings and views so that can be the biggest reason on why Netflix would decide to jump to the idea of adding cuties or Mignanez in France but a lot of you are asking, okay, then what is it about this movie that's basically getting Netflix a lot of flack? What is it about this movie that's getting Netflix serious damage and, and hurting them really bad? The movie is a live-action film about 11-year-old girls forming a twerking dance crew, by the way, where we have 11-year-old girls doing dances that girls would do when they are 18 and up. When they are 18 and older. That's right. And it does not stop at these uh, spicy dance routines or these spicy dance crews or the spicy dance crew dances. It doesn't stop at there. It gets far more fucking worse. Like, go to the IMDb and read the parent's guide. And you'll definitely get a glimpse of how worse it is. And if not the IMDb, it's not just the IMDb parent's guide that's been providing warnings. Your local YouTuber probably has been warning you about the stuff in that movie. And yes, far worse than 11 year old girls twerking and other spicy dances that girls would do when they are 18 and up and really i'm really thankful for the warnings that have been pretty much surfacing on the internet from the community and also the imdb parents guide page for this movie because really i don't want to go ahead and watch the movie cuties nor will i ever bother to watch that movie miss me with that bullshit i don't want to go into details about what information i was given but i'm taking the warnings very seriously and i am avoiding this fucking movie all right that's how bad that's how worse this movie can get and pretty much with that being said Definitely Netflix should be taking the roast for it. Should be taking the L. And yeah, Netflix really got what they had coming. And Netflix has no choice but to take the L for this one. For this really worse of a movie about 11-year-old girls forming an 
erotic dance crew. And to have that movie go far more fucking worse than that. And I gotta remember the advertising. Because there I did hear about the advertising for this movie. And I was pretty much there when the advertising for this movie surfaced. And people were sitting around here saying, Oh no, this, this was an idea. Netflix did that movie dirty. And then... People are, like, getting a hold of this movie, and then all of a sudden, they're coming out of the blue and being like, No, Cuties is much worse, or it's, it's much worse than the poster. It is much worse than ever thought of. Do not watch this movie. Avoid watching this movie. Do not watch this movie. It is far worse. And you know what? I'm taking the warnings pretty much well. Alright. You know what? I'm not gonna watch this movie, nor will I ever, ever watch this movie. And like I said, miss me with that bullshit. Really, to be honest with you here, Netflix really should take this out. The hate coming their way, Netflix deserves it. The flack coming their way, Netflix deserves it. The boycott, the cancel Netflix, the, the stock market drop, the subscribers being lost. Yeah, Netflix had that shit coming. They deserve it. Netflix needs to take that fucking L. And that being said. But, however, should the story be at its end over the weekend? Because the film released over the weekend, right? And there was the severe... Be nope, it's still going and going and going and going. So what is it about this movie that's like... That's like, why is it still going? Why is it keeping on going? People are defending it. And it does not stop at just people defending it. Because it's not just people that are defending it. It's publications. We're talking about journalists defending this movie. Situation's gone political. Yep, politics is getting in the way, and that's what's keeping this situation and this story going. There seems to be a lot of uh, journalists that are posting articles on publications saying that, okay, the people who are hating this movie are trolls from the alt-right or something like that. They're also saying that the movie is not child exploitation and... I remember one headline saying, hey, you need to apologize to the film director after you watch the movie Cuties. And worse, Netflix is doubling down on the movie by basically sending a representative to talk to a publication saying how, oh yeah, Netflix is a very important movie that, that speaks against uh, what people are saying about this movie. It's a... Uh, positive message it's a political commentary against the culture that the movie represents and whatever fucking reason don't believe me you know what there's plenty of articles talking about netflix's latest statement on that movie by the way you know what here oh yeah here's one i'm gonna go ahead and post the link in the description okay it's from variety and it says oh hey netflix is defending their decision to keep the movie cuties on their service because it's a uh, movie that is political and it is against the sexualization you know what i just wish netflix would just come out and just admit it like no it's my netflix movie it's my netflix movie that i post on my service because it's it's won awards and it's progressive and it, it it's just basically borderline down the lines of essentially my Sundance movie, my Sundance movie. And it's pretty much highly likely the fucking reason why Netflix released the movie Cuties on Netflix anyway. You know what? I have been doing nothing but when it comes to my anger and rage, I've been penting that up to a point where it's not healthy at all. So you know what? It's better to let some of it out. And with that totally said, yeah, I'm doing the most healthiest thing ever. Just letting it all out. Really, to be honest with you here, this is what's absolutely ridiculous. And you know what? The video game community is calling that movie out. The anime community is calling that movie out. The manga community is calling that movie out. Okay. A lot of communities are calling it out. But included are the video game community, the anime community, the comics community. Because you, you know what? Here's the thing. Okay, now let's go over to video games. Oh yeah, we can't have attractive female character designs, or we can't have anything like fan service and whatnot, because there's mobs that would go out against it, 
and they would be like, oh no, this should not exist because it's insert buzzword here, it contributes to the insert buzzword here culture, and then all of a sudden they do whatever means necessary to get developers and publishers backed into a corner and forced to censor themselves. And you see the same situation happen when it comes to comics, and now people are just finally catching on that these kinds of people are going after anime and going after the entertainment industry in Japan. Basically, they're trying to start like a little culture war against Japan because they just want everything to be this morally or politically correct or something. They can't have anything they like, otherwise it's insert buzzword here. So. When it comes to something like that, let, let's talk about Dead or Alive Extreme 3. Okay, the Extreme series. Oh yeah, and let's talk about Dead or Alive in general. There has been saying about, oh yeah, we, we're going to have to tone down the sexuality or the fan service of Dead or Alive. We're going to have to tone down the female character designs because we don't want to get in trouble. Oh, and then when we go to Extreme, it's rendered import only because they fear if they were to essentially bring that game over to the west they fear the backlash they would fear the backlash that would be coming their direction if they were to essentially release dead or alive extreme 3 to the west it's even gotten to a point where dead or alive extreme venus vacation which offers more compared to dead or alive fortune venus and scarlet combined okay this is going to be the Dead or Alive Extreme 3 on PC that's more than the console version. But guess what? That game is region locked. Why? Because they're so scared for the sake of Dead or Alive that it took, like... It took everybody being like, what on earth are you doing, Koei Tecmo? It's like, when it came to Dead or Alive 6, like, here's the thing. Oh yeah, we have to tone down the female character designs because we don't want to get in trouble because we we don't want to over sexualize things and whatever and then later down the line they end up changing their minds thanks to efforts and now the swimsuit dlc is back and you get the fan service costumes back and dead or alive 6 got its fan service okay we're having we had to fight to get that fan service in dead or alive 6 okay and when it came to Extreme 3 and Extreme Venus Vacation is much more of a fucking difficult fight. And also, when it comes to the animes, w let's talk about Interspecies Reviewers, because Interspecies Reviewers was a mature-themed anime, and it was on the simulcast lineup, but after three episodes, oh no, it wasn't reflective of our moral values. Rather than alter the work, we had to downright remove it. In which, bless right stuff and critical mass video for getting a hold of the license so that way interspecies reviewers can be finally released onto western blu-rays and the only thing we got to figure out is streaming services but however at least we're getting interspecies reviewers fully to the west on western blu-rays and thank god for that thank fucking goodness if there's if there is no god whatever and also, when it comes to mangas, we're seeing mangas getting removed. But, this is where the anime community, the video game community, the comics community, the manga community, the, especially the niche communities, that here's where it's setting them fucking off. When they see cuties, and the content that is in cuties... Netflix doubles down and keeps that movie up on their service. And there's already people coming out and defending this movie, especially big-time journalists saying, oh yeah, if you don't like this movie, if you have a problem with this movie, you're part of the alt-right, or you need to apologize to the director and watch the movie. Oh, Cuties is a social documentary against that movie. When completely, all right, if you are to basically watch this movie... The biggest fear, which is completely entirely understandable, because it has child exploitation, I don't want to end up on a fucking FBI watch list. I don't want to end up in... Yeah. I don't want to end up on an FBI watch list by watching this movie, and I understand where these people are coming from. But people still 
defend that movie and Netflix doubles down and keeps that movie up. But then when it comes to interspecies reviewers, in which, by the way, has already gotten a Western Blu-ray release on Western Blu-rays thanks to Right Stuff and Critical Mass Video, okay, after three episodes it gets pulled from Funimation because, oh no, it's not reflective of our moral values because, it, because how dare mature-themed anime be mature-themed. And here's the th and here's the common thing. We're having video games, mangas, animes, all that kind of stuff getting fucking censored out of the blue, no matter and regardless of the fucking age ratings. But when it comes to movies like Cuties, nope, Netflix keep Netflix doubles down on it and is all like Oh no, my Sundance movie, my Sundance movie, my Sundance movie, and people are just flat out defending it. Do you see where the double standard's coming from? Like, here we are trying to sit around here, trying to cope with fucking content apocalypse that has been hitting up our comics, our movies, our animes, our games, hell, our YouTube videos. And then we have Netflix up here being a live-action movie that's rated for older audiences, being straight-up child exploitation, having 11-year-old girls doing you-don't-want-to-know stuff. Nope, Netflix just doubles down, keeps it, defends this movie, and pretty much big-time journalists come up for it and defend this movie and saying, oh yeah, if you don't like this movie, you're part of the alt-right troll campaign or whatever. Like, that's absolutely fucking ridiculous. You, you kind of see where the fucking double standard is at, right? So with that totally said, if the video game community, anime community, comics community, manga community, the content video on the internet community jumping in and chiming in on calling out the movie cuties on Netflix, yeah, they have the fucking right to. Because when they look at the movie cuties, you, they see the fucking double standard that's out there. Because pretty much it's just similar. It's so similar to the EVO 2020 incident where Joey Queller got rightfully removed from fucking his position as CEO because of shit he did with minors. And guess what? That's what got EVO 2020 canceled. But Joey Queller can decide to go ahead and nuke the Evo Japan stream because of an advertisement for Dead or Alive 6 because it dared be celebratory of Dead or Alive's fan service. In which, by the way, I'm still kind of wondering uh, whatever happened to them core values. I mean, look at video games and anime. Oh my god, this show, this game, this show is too violent, too brutal. Oh my goodness, it needs to be gone. And oh my goodness, look at the female character's design. It's sexist, misogynistic, that needs to be censored. But then when it comes to Netflix cuties, nope, Netflix doesn't want to remove it. They want to double down. They want to keep defending this movie. And journalists want to keep defending this movie because uh, some shit about politics or something. Really, if you kind of want my honest opinion here, Netflix really, really deserves to take this L. They have no choice but to take this goddamn L. They deserve the flack coming their way. They deserve the backlash. They deserve the stocks falling. They they need to be reminded that their decision to have that movie Netflix added is a terrible idea. And there is a reason why having that movie in your service is a terrible fucking idea. And with that totally said, I'm not going to be planning on watching that movie because I have been fully warned about this movie. I have been fully warned about the content and stuff that's been going on when it comes to that movie. The plot line of this movie, I've already gotten good warnings. And with that totally said, I'm taking the warnings very seriously and I am avoiding this movie, Cuties. And really, to be honest with you here, you might as well just do the same because essentially there's no fucking... There's no fucking means that if you are to watch this movie, because everybody has gotten the warnings, and it's saying, oh no, it's far worse than the poster. Alright. And you're given details, here's why, and it's being brought to you for a reason. So that way you don't have to watch the movie. So you know what? I don't have to watch the movie. I could pretty much avoid this movie like the plague, missed me with that bullshit and whatever happens to netflix and the studio behind the movie cuties to be honest with you here 
there's nothing we can do about it. What's gonna happen is gonna end up happening because, you know, natural selection. That totally said, that is all I gotta have to say, and I don't wanna drag this video out for too long anyway. I'll be looking forward to you in the next video. Peace out.